Hello YouTubers and welcome to a pretty special review because this is Beer Review 1000 Not 9000 but 1000 so yeah Joined by this guy, Jakob de Lodemal, been on quite a few Jakob de Lodemal things <laughs> Been on quite a few reviews as well, that was like Simon style <laughs> But yeah, oh and you see the blue mystery thing here It's a beer in there and you're not gonna see until I stop talking about this This is gonna be maybe a little bit long video because I just want to say thanks to everyone over these three years for subscribing, following my videos, commenting, you know, people who send me beer, uh, I mean, it's been so nice of you, and I really like how, even though I've sometimes gotten sent beer, or we have, and we might have given it, like a 70, a good beer grade, people won't get angry about it, because no. we're being honest, which this is all about. You don't help the brewer if you're not honest. So, yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Um, should be interesting to see what's going to be in store for the future. I'm not done doing beer reviews yet, even though I hit 1,000. Because I, I heard a lot of people talking about, oh, he's maybe going to stop. But no, I'm going to keep going. <laughs> I'm going to stop when I get a huge ass beer belly and then 60. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I think or I guess. Or you die by a little failure. <laughs> yeah. I, but I guess I'm like the first beer reviewer to do 1,000 like reviews that's been edited, and, you know, counted, and, and all those stuff. So yeah. So, yeah. That's pretty crazy. That's that's big dedication, especially in three years. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed following my channel, and I hope we will go more in the future to spread the great word of the thing that is craft beer. So now we're about to unveil this beer. Oh, con contest, contest. Yeah. Uh, on Monday, there's going to be a video with a little bit of a contest. So I suggest you tune in on Monday. Uh, we're going to have a pretty big contest. Because it's 1,000 beer reviews. So, uh, yeah, are you ready for it? Boom, 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 boom. Some people are expecting crazy stuff. This is pretty crazy, but let's see. Well, you can't even see the label yet, but we got it right here. It is from De Dole in Belgium. This is the 2010 Stille Nacht de Zala. Now, this beer is on the white whale list. It's only been brewed once before, and that was in 2002. Or mm -hmm. eight, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think actually it was 2002. Oh, okay. uh, I'm not entirely sure, but uh, it might have been eight as well. But this is the 2010 version, and this the Dollar Stillen Act is a fantastic beer. Now, this has been since 2010, it's been in Bordeaux barrels. So that's red wine barrels, so that should be really interesting. Thanks a bunch to Belgium in a box.com for shipping this one out to us <laughs> um, because at the moment. We don't have any super rare whales that we haven't reviewed or scheduled. And we didn't, it was really hard to find something that could be rare in rarity wise. But this is on the white whale list, so I guess it will suffice. Yeah. Uh, so, yes, should be interesting. It's a big Belgian strong blonde ale on 12% alcohol. And yeah, I can't wait to try it because Stimnacht from the Dollar is a classic. So. Yeah, let's get this open. So we got Beer Review 1000, the dollar still in Reserve 2010 poured, and that cork, you see there's two parts here, it was really like hard to get out. <laughs> yeah. But we actually managed not to get any cork in there, but that's a nice color. It's definitely absorbed color yeah. from the wood cause, and from the barrels, because the, the traditional the dollar still in Acht is not nearly as dark, it's much more golden. Yeah. Uh, this looks like a IPA kind of beer. Yeah, or amber ale almost. Oh, yeah. But you can really smell the red brine barrels. It's really smelling up the room. But a nice kind of dark amber copper color. Uh, nice head for 12%. Yeah. Uh, it's white. Yeah, white, off white two fingers, or one and a half fingers, or something like that. Uh, but yeah, do you want to check out the aroma? It's. Ooh. It smells. Uh, it almost smells like sour or tart. Yeah. It's got kind of like the tart, kind of uh, red grape vineyard notes that you find in a Flemish style sour. Yeah. But I still have this very prudent uh, grape. Yeah, red uh, grape. Red grape. Oak smell that you yeah. get from a beer or a wine. Yeah. An oak and vanilla. A little bit on the cork, but I don't think it's from the cork. Yeah. Um, Definitely some sweeter, kind of sugary yeah, uh, sugar notes, kind of like a, yeah. yeah, and like a Belgian candied sugar. That's and under, yeah, and almost, almost get it like a charred kind of oak slash chocolatey note, which oh, is probably yeah. from the barrel. A little yeah. bit of a cherry as well, yeah, and almost balsamic vinegar. And some generic Belgian 
spices. Yeah, like, like spiciness, uh, like kind of peppery spice. Maybe a little orange peel. Mm, yeah, yeah orange peel for sure. Yeah, definitely quite zesty and sweeter maltiness as well. Um, it's pretty complex actually. It smells really nice. Dark fruits, kind of dates, raisins, yeah. figs. But funny enough, because of the barrel, it's accentuated much more of the dark kind of sugary esters and you've got the dark fruits now because usually it also had like white grape and apple notes. This yeah. might have a red apple skin, but yeah, it smells really nice. Oh yeah. Do you want to give it a taste? Yeah. Peer Review 1000. Which is crazy. And cheers for the reviews and... <laughs> no problem, man. Hopefully a thousand more. Yes. Ooh, wow, that is smooth. That doesn't really? feel like twelve percent at nope, all. Not at all. It, it it's interesting because it reminds me of a Flemish beer. Yeah. I don't think there's any souring agent in here whatsoever. It's just so vinous. And slightly it's not sour, no. but it's got the tartness you'll find in a wine. Yeah. Like aftertaste right now is just totally red wine. Yeah. And it's wet red wine. Red, 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 red. Yeah. Interestingly enough, I still there is kind of like that apple flavor, but again, mm. it's more of a red apple skin. Mouthfeel is medium. Yeah, medium. Kind of sugary and yeah. dry. It, yeah. it, it feels like that sticky gloss on your lips. It's actually a really nice Belgian beer. Um, again, quite nice vanilla notes. I'm actually also thinking the mouthfeel is a little bit silky. Mm. Um, touch of the alcohol, but it's, I mean, it's very well masked in, into the beer. Uh, nice oak tanning character, definitely the orange zest you talked about. Yeah. What about you? What are you picking uh, up? Again, the same. And some kind of um, cherry. Yeah. No, ripe cherry kind of um, yeah, in the front. And some sweet caramel, spicy, Christmas spicy kind of uh, yeah. clove and vanilla. and. Yeah, not as much cinnamon, but no. uh, I think the, the, in the aroma, but definitely also pepper, black pepper. Yeah. And the red apple skin as well, dark fruit, raisins, figs. And also had, it almost has like a champagne feel, like with the oh, carbonation, yeah. but not champagne. I don't know if there's champagnes that are like red or a, a sparkling wine that was sparkling rose, 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 maybe. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, fantastic beer from Dodala. Make some great stuff. Now, when I reviewed the original one, which was one of my first beer reviews, I think it was beer review 23, <laughs> I gave it a hundred. Because back then I had a very different palate towards a young, a young palate <laughs> towards, and I wouldn't give the dollar still knocked uh, 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 that high grade. I'd probably go to 90 or something like that, maybe a little higher. But this just takes it to a completely different level. Um, I had the 2012 the dollar still knocked, not, uh, like this Christmas, I didn't review it though. Was great, but it just eleven as well. Yeah, yeah, right. This year. Yeah, and um, it just takes it to another level because you get the dark fruit notes and almost kind of Flemish notes, not sour but tart kind of notes, and um, it's really nice. It's definitely like interesting barrel aged beer. I mean, it's really good, and I really like how the red wine is very well incorporated. And we talked a little bit off camera. There's one thing that's a little bit off putting because in the middle it has that tanniny kind of flavor you sometimes get in a red wine. It's hard to define, but yeah. it's like this sharp tanniny, fl tanniny uh, flavor that lingers a little. Uh, mm. And then you come with the aftertaste with the kind of vanilla notes and really smooth and kind of silky. But still, it's a great beer. So I, I'm going to go 95 on this one. This is the one you really need to try. Uh, fantastic stuff. Yeah, I'm going to go a little lower. And I think it's because, again, uh, because of the uh, tanniny notes. Kind of like, I'm not too fond of that. But... Uh, Still a great beer, worth checking out, worth oh, trying yeah. out, and I so really dig the aftertaste. I really dig the aftertaste, yeah, the red wine, I'm going to go 93. If you can get your hands on this, it's very hard to get, but if you can, definitely get a bottle of the Stillenacht La Saba 2010 version, and if you have a 2002 or 8, if you're one lucky guy, I'd like to try that. <laughs> um, but yeah guys, definitely let me know what you think of this if you've had it. I'm pretty sure a few of you guys might have. and. Uh, Thanks a lot for watching, following 1,000 beer reviews in, yeah, a little over five, uh, three years now, so it's been great. So yeah, guys, uh, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. And Belgium in the box. And Belgium in the box, of course. Thanks a lot for sending this. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, we're going to say cheers now in some delicious beer. Enjoy it. 
and then we're gonna look forward to hopefully the one. next thousand. Yeah, number two thousand. <laughs>